Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the types of hackers. White hat hacker, there are three hackers are there. White hat hackers and black hat hackers and grey hat hackers. White hat hackers, what is the meaning of white hat hackers? He will work on ethical hacker. Ethical hacker means he yeah, like every text. For example, he need to go and check the uh, uh, penetration system. Like he need to go and check that uh, system it is vulnerability or not. First of all, he need to take the permission. He will work on the every time he need to test means he need to take the permission from the organization. He will hack any sites also. He need to take permissions. This is called as a like ethical hacker. For example, he is finding any website on vulnerabilities without the without the constant also. They will not allow. They, he need to take the permission on their website testing. And that is called ethical hacker. And the black hat hacker. He will not work on like uh, he will never he will, no one will find black hat hackers. He never will ask the permissions. And most of the black hat hackers will use for in dark web tools for cracking passwords and all. And grey hat hacker, he will work on the both sides and penetration testers. Same similar only they like every time they need to find the vulnerability means they then go and they will ask the uh, like security researcher, they will ask the permission and they will start. And uh, we, uh, shall we begin the topic? What is the elements of a hacker? Like what is the motive of a hacker? Internal and external and money, excitement, challenge, adrenal rush are there. And what is the opportunities? Opportunities are for hacker or the vulnerabilities and weakness. And uh, means means ability to carry out attack. It, it will discuss on the upcoming topics. And uh, like uh, now we are going to see hacker methodologies. Hacker methodologies. Like a uh, first step, there are five phases of hack hacking. Like a uh, reconnaissance and scanning, and the uh, footprinting, and uh, maintaining access, gain access, and clear tracks. First of all, you need to see the footprinting. It is called reconnaissance. It is called like information gathering. There are two types of uh, like uh, uh, information gathering are there. Reconnaissance. It is passive. It is active. We will see what are there. Like passive reconnaissance means public records, all the news releases, and active reconnaissance means uh, like a calling help desk daily, like port scans, checking the flyers. Like they will call. We are working on that. We, we need this uh, name. It is employee or not. And public records means, uh, for example, you are like so, uh, and uh, some company you apply, you are applying for job. That company it will store the, your uh, like mail address and all. And uh, you if you search your name using Google dot techniques, you you can find your like uh, where you put your address and all. Which website is uh, showing your name? Like that upcoming topic, upcoming topics you will see. Like uh, if you search your name using Google dot techniques, it will find. Uh, and now what now like uh, here it's showing you know, this icon it is the uh, it is the port scanning it will show which are the open ports and all there hmm? uh, like uh, their ports are there uh, approximately 0 to 65,000 ports are there in, in network and ethical hacking networking is the major topic your main topic you need to focus on more networking like uh, ethics ch pre-request also you have to do the basic knowledge of networking and the Linux commands. Like if you don't have also, I will teach on further further topics. These all are ports. With mm, these all are uh, open ports in that computer. And it, it this open ports and will come on under the scanning and enumeration section. Like a password recordance, so I will show you the practical. We, wait just a second yeah in information gathering you need to focus on which all are publicly it's available 
like for example yeah, like uh, on uh, who is website is there there you can find when they are created website when they are going to update so who is the developer and all you can find them. and all so many details it will be there and that another is to another website is wayback wayback machine it is called like when it will snap it will snap the shots of the website it will daily the snap the website when they created from the, like example google is their website now you can now google.com is 22 how it look like hmm? then uh, previous years ago like a 1990 or 2000s how the google looks like you can see i'll show you the practical now before that how to find the nappy address using uh, ping uh, using uh, like a ping that i will show you any time you need to find this ping wait i will ping uh -oh. com see here you, you got ip address Here you got right IP address. Okay, what is the IP address? 142.250.250. See, you got the IP address. Now I will show you the practical tools. Who is? Who is dot com is there? This is also is there. And who is this first is here? Here we can talk example Google.com. If you hit the enter, see here you can see that what and all if you just very on 2028 this website and they need to uh, uh, like they will update that time and the it webs Google website is registered on like uh, 1997 they registered and the, uh, the last time they updated on the website is 2019 it is for the important dates these all dates are there you can see using wayback machine how they are changing the uh, website which all are they implemented you can see the source code also it, it will be there and it is the servers it is the Google servers. In upcoming like upcoming uh, topics, I will slide how to find the subdomains of the Google. I, and we will use the Kali Linux operating system also. There, here it will I will show DNS records also. These all are the sub uh, first names. I, it is a TTL time taken to leave uh, TTL values. SMTP it will use for mail mail service SMTP and we will see that Wayback Machine now it will it will interesting Wayback Machine if you should enter it is the website what now it will show how the Google looks like 1997 I'll show you now practical only. In the upcoming, I'll tell uh, like an uh, like pre request to know networking knowledge, like what is this uh, IP address thing and all basic heritage. See here, if you enter in the you will see how the Google looks like on 1997. Now, this website will every day it will snaps. Okay, we will go to the 1999. Wait, let's see. 1998 they created. That time we will take the, how the Google looks like. We will see now. You see number they took one snap. Four snaps are there. We will hit take this. It is the Google on. Uh, to on uh, 1998 it's just to the google if you press we'll see what is there 